Thai Anglo Welsh Cup final this weekend, 100th appearance for the Chiefs. It's not going to be a bad day for you, I don't think, is it? Well, I hope not. Um, no, it's a huge privilege to be asked to captain the side again, and um, something I don't think you can ever get bored of doing. Uh, so hopefully it's a good day for us. Obviously, uh, tough opponents in Bath. You know all, all about them from past experiences. Yeah, hugely historic side. Um, I think I'll have a huge amount of pride going into it. I know they haven't won a bit of silver in a while, so they'll be chasing it. Um, but we've had a really good training week. Uh, put the building blocks in place. There's a, there's a huge amount of enthusiasm and a bit of edge in the, in the, in the camp this week. It's cup final week after all, so you know, hopefully we've put everything in place to prepare us properly for the weekend. We saw the hunger of the boys last weekend, and particularly the second half, you dug deep and showed what this competition means to you guys. Yeah, it means a great deal. I think it's, you, know, you look back, um, 2014 when, when we won it out here is a pretty special day and it kind of it was the start of the building blocks to put it to put in place for us to get that innate belief that we can go on and win big things um, pretty crucial for us so you know it's, it's a first class competition first class bit of silverware and hopefully it's in our cabinet Monday morning I was going to say as you say a cup final at any time it doesn't matter who you're playing where you're playing it's, it's one to get up for no, 100%. I think there's plenty of guys go through their career without an opportunity to win first class silverware. So, you know, we've got to cherish that. We know that how special it is to be in a cup final. Um, and we're going to make the most of that Sunday. People have talked about the, the strength and depth of the Chiefs squad. We've seen that in this competition throughout this campaign and previous years. But what's it like playing in this current mix? Well, pretty special, really. I think, you know, we're so fortunate with the talent in this squad um, and the amount of it. Uh, you, know, you, you, you look at this team going out there on Sunday. And it's frightening the talent, really. Um, I think, you know, it's a competition that can be used in different ways to, as a stepping stone for youngsters coming through. If you look through seasons, you know, the Simo brothers, Street Townsend, Jack Morley, you know, these guys um, have used it that way, but it's also a way of giving uh, game time into other guys, fringe players, a way of them putting in huge performances to accelerate them into the first you know, premiership side. Um, so I think we use it in the right way um, and use our squad. You know, we've got a good squad, let's use it. As, as uh, is the case, it's a West Coast Derby to, to add extra spice to it is that is that going to be uh, you know something that excites you players even more that you know local rivals I think we, we don't put too much focus on that I think it's probably more the spectator puts more focus on that I think you know we know they're a very good team um, and you know you know ultimately playing the following week but that's that's irrelevant for us the whole focus is on Sunday this week we know you're uh, heading on to pastures new at the end of the season still staying here at the club but what will it be like to go out with something special like this uh, a big win Oh, it'll be huge. I think, you know, for me personally, it'd be, it'd be very big. Um, but for us as a club, we've got to keep striving for that. And, um, you know, that those sort of June running sessions on, on the beach and the pre season horrific sessions, you do them to give yourself opportunities to play in these big games at the end of the season. Um, and we're in one now, so let's just make the most of it. Mm-hmm.